एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव सेकेंड पार्ट इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर यू कैन वॉच दैट लेक्चर बाय क्लिकिंग द लिंक बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स in the first part of the video uh, we have talked about the orthographic projections cases of points different situations and i have told you a shortcut also in that video now in this uh, lecture i'd be telling you about the detailed concepts of orthographic projection the concept behind the side view and the related aspects so let us start the video welcome to s chand academy the similar uh, concepts the detailed concepts would be available in the book by s chand publishing if you don't have the copy of the book click the link below in the description box uh, this is the second part of the lecture number 5 of the lecture series of engineering graphics course and in this course we shall be starting the projection of points we shall have the continued aspect of projection of points uh, and this is the second module of the course now uh, in my previous video i have talked something about projections and we have seen the cases uh, for the different views uh, of the points that means we have kept the points in the four quadrants and i have told you that uh, we have to follow only these uh, two projection methods whether we are working in india or we are working in the foreign country so in the first angle projection system we keep the object in the first quadrant and in the third angle projection system we keep the object in the third quadrant we don't have any system which says second angle projections and fourth angle projections and the reason to it is uh, both the views which is the front view and the top view would be overlapped and that would create a confusion uh, while preparing the technical drawing so let me again show you that situation or again i'll show you the concept behind it here i'll be using four different projectors to indicate the four different situations the detailed description is there in the first part of the video if you haven't watched that part click the link below now in this case we had the first quadrant situation which is a dash and a it indicates that the object is there in the first quadrant that means this is the front view this is the top view in the second situation both the objects were there in the projector which is above the xy line this is the second quadrant situation in the third quadrant situation we have the top view above and the front view below and in the fourth quadrant situation we have both the views together below xy line so this is the xy line and as you can see that in the first angle projection both the views are separated so this is the logical case in which we can use this first angle projection situation second thing is when you have both the views together so it would create a confusion to the manufacturer so i cannot use this in the third quadrant situation what happens both the views are separated namely the front and the top view so this is the case and in the fourth angle projection both the views are not separated so this is the case so what is the basic agenda basic agenda is we can use the first angle projection and we can use the third angle projection uh you would remember that in the initial part of the video i have asked a query that the drawing that we make in india is different from the drawing that we see in the foreign country and how they are different in india we generally follow this first angle projection system that means we indicate the front view first 
and then the top view. But in the foreign country, they indicate this top view first and the front view later. Okay, so this is the major uh, answer or the reply to that question that I have raised in the starting of the video. So this is the case. Now, uh, how does one understand that this is the case of a first angle projection or a third angle projection situation? So we have a symbol for that. So in uh, my initial lectures, maybe in the lecture number one, I have told you about the title block. And in the title block, I have shown you a symbol. So in the technical drawing, these symbols needs to be indicated uh, so that this drawing is clearly visible that in which projection system that is made. So for that, we have different symbols. First angle projection, we have a symbol and for the third angle projection, we have a different symbol. So for that indication, we have to use a frustrum. So frustrum uh, is like a cut section of the cone. When I have a cone and I cut the section of the cone uh, with a plane parallel to the base of the cone. So I get a frustrum shape. So when I look at the frustrum from the front, what do I get? I will get a shape like this. Correct. And when I look at that frustrum from the top, I will get two circles. Okay. So if the front view is indicated above and the top view is indicated below, I will get or I will have the symbol of the first angle projection method. Reverse symbol is possible for the third angle projection method. That means this is the case when you have two circles which is the top view above and the front view is below. Then this is the situation of the third angle projection method. Now what happens we cannot indicate this type of symbol in the vertical fashion in the title block because our title block is horizontal. So just we have to shift the symbol or we have to shift the symbol in uh, order to have a generalized fashion. So what is the actual symbol that we have? I will show you. So for the first angle projection you have to make the front view initially. So start by making the front view and then you have the light projectors which are to be made here and on the remaining part draw the circles. So this is the symbol of the first angle projection system, the symbol of the first angle projection. Reverse symbol is in the case of a third angle projection system. third angle projection system has this case in which you have a circle and you have another circle here. Apart from this, you have to take two lines which are the projectors and then you have to indicate the front view there. The front view is indicated. So this indicates that you have the top view, you have the front view. Here you have the front view, you have the top view there. So this is the clear cut idea that anyone can have by looking at the title block. So let's say in the title block, if I have made this symbol, that means I have used the first angle projection system method. And in the title block, if I have used this symbol, that means I have used the third angle projection system method in which above XY line would have the figure which is the top view and below xy line would have the figure which is the front view and if it is the first angle projection above xy line would have a figure which is the front view and below would have a figure which is the top view case. Now talking about cert certain notations that we need to follow in the first angle and the third angle projection cases. I am not going into the detail of uh, the case but I will just tell you the notation that we follow. So for first angle projection and for the third angle projection, we follow the notation like this. We have xy line, above xy line we have front view, 
and below x y line we have the top view. But what happens here the side view is also to be indicated and if I want to make the left side view though I generally connect the front view with the side view. This is the general pattern that we connect the front view with the side view not the top view we connect. So the side views will be made on the left or on the right of the front view only. So here what happens if I want to make the left side view this will appear on the right and if I want to make the right side view this will appear on the left. So this is the right side view this is the left side view both of them would appear on the reverse fashion and the next situation is of the third quadrant case in which you have above case that is the top view and below you have the front view and I have told you that side view is always linked with the front views. So the side view is linked with two front views that I have. So here you have the left side view that is the general notation and here you have the right side view right that is the general notation. So here we follow the general notation which is the general trend left side view will appear on the left right side view will appear on the right and here the right and left side views are swapped in the first angle projection. In India we follow this first angle projection and the case of metric system that is in mm and in foreign countries we follow this uh, third angle projection situation and the case would be inch system. So generally in inches they prepare the drawing and we prepare the drawing in the metric system. Coming to another concepts in which you have uh, the cases in which the point is there on the VP or in VP or in HP. So we have three cases just for having an elaboration. Uh, so let us start with some cases like you have a point which is above HP. So you have a point here which is above HP and in front of uh, VP. So this is the case uh, above HP and in front of VP this is the case of first quadrant. So similar situation when I look at the object from the front I will get the front view here and from the top I will get the top view. Then I need to rotate this horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise I will get the projector like this. So I will get the same projector on the same projector I will get the front and the top view. Then the next situation arises in which the point is although above HP but it is also in VP. So above HP and in VP the point is here which is a point. When I look at the object from the front, I will get the front view here. So This is a dash and when I look at the object from the top, I will get a. And irrespective of the fact that I rotate this horizontal plane or not, I will get the both the views on the vertical plane itself. So I will get the vertical plane, I will get the horizontal plane and both the views lies above this x y line. In the third situation, you have a point which is there in HP and in front of VP. So the point is there in HP and it is in front of this VP. So the point is in front of VP and you look at the object from the top you will get this A and when you look at the object from the front you will get the A dash part. A dash is the front view. Now you rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so you will get this which is the front view here and the top view below this x y line. So we come to an end of the second part of the video. Uh, in the first part uh, we talked about the orthographic projection of the points in detail and in the second part I cleared some of the concepts uh, which are related to the first angle projection and the third angle projection situation. You can also refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.
If I want 